What's going on with you two? It's your main man Fortunes, and we're back again with another video, man. Smash that thumbs up button, man, because it helps this channel to grow to a whole nother level. Man, we appreciate y'all for so much for tuning in and rocking out with us, man. If this is your first time to the channel, this could be the channel for you. Because we do on feeds, we do sneaker news, we do sneaker reviews, we buy shoes, we sell shoes, and we do so much more on the channel. Oh, so much more. Let's get back into it. Man, remember, because Forrest is a finesse, and nothing less than the... Man, y'all know the rest of it. Man, what is going on with YouTube, man? We are so excited to be back again with another video, man. We have some serious heat coming your way, man. We got so many reviews and unboxings and sneaky news and this shit, y'all, so much. It is crazy, man. I have been watching a lot of content out there. And, man, a lot of people have been saying they have been unable to defeat the final boss. Man, so remember... Some of these sneakers, man, they are tough to get. So not only did you have to try to get them for retail, not only did you have to enter in all these raffles at a certain time and get picked, and not only did your order not get canceled or the package in the mail and get the notification that is at your door and have it not get stolen. And it can even be your UPS driver could be a sneakerhead. He could be the one trying to take your packages, man. But I really didn't believe it. I was like, man, you serious? People trying to take, you know, the Travis Scott's or something like that, and or, or your uh, Nigel Sylvester's? But man, this stuff has been happening. So they know if there's a drop, if it's a Travis Scott, if it's a Nigel Sylvester, and, and UPS driver is a sneakerhead, he knows that these shoes are coming out. Now, even these Porsche Pirates out here too, man, it's crazy. I'm trying to think if that has ever happened to me where, where I had a Porsche Pirate type of situation. Coming from Nike, I'm so happy to get this shoe. Sorry, y'all. I am super late with this review, but I knew I had to wait a, a while to do some of these reviews because, man, I knew there wasn't going to be nothing coming out for a while. So I said, man, let me space out the content a little bit because I was like, man, it's going to be dry for a minute. So, man, we appreciate it uh, for retail because, man, this is one of those shoes that people were talking stuff about it said they didn't need it the shoe was weak but by the time the shoe came out and people had the pairs in hand all that energy changed it's all oh, this color like i said man i got some crazy and i mean crazy outfits to go with this man so <laughs> stay tuned y'all but here we go again with the unboxing of this see you can reseal it it's got a nice tear off, tear away, and then you can even reseal it. You can reuse this box in case you sell your sneakers to somebody else. So, man, they got the perfect setup. Woo! Got the retail W on this, y'all. Oh, man. Oh, shoot. My box got a little bit wet. Yep, that's what I figured. So, I can't really tell. Yeah, it got a little bit wet, but it's all good, though. Up style code is FQ7928001. Air Jordan 4 Retro SE Smoke Gray and Iron Gray. So we do have here the Jordan 4 Paris Olympics Wet Cement. Woo-wee! Yeah, these go crazy, y'all. These definitely, 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 definitely go super crazy. Okay, so man, these go crazy, y'all. Hopefully the shoes didn't get wet. All right, so let's see what we got here. So man, all right, so here we here you have them, the Jordan Four, Paris wet wet cement. Oh, there we go, man. So again, y'all, this is some heat right here. This whoo wee, man. I got some crazy outfits to go with these, man. Some crazy. So this is a graphite gray. And an iron gray. They kind of remind me a little bit of the, uh, what is it? The Is it the cool gray nines? Man, y'all might have to correct me on those. But, you know, I never actually had those shoes. But look at the graphite details. It's really strong right there. It's really strong gray. There is no net. There's no netting on these. That's what a lot of people were complaining about. There was no netting. This is a Jordan 4 SE. So, again, the SCs are a little bit different. You had the Craft Series and stuff like that. You had a really nice suede upper, uh, even on the tongue. 
and going all the way up to the top tongue. You have the the uh, imprinted, uh, de, you know, de, uh, imprinted depressed on the Jordan on the Jordan Four tongue. You do also have nice grooves. See that that transition of this gray to that gray looks really nice. And even on the midsole is a different gray as well. That transition, it's almost like three different grays on this shoe from the mid panel to that second panel to the midsole is really good. You got your air bubble unit right there, your air unit. And again, these things go crazy, y'all. Again, it's not an OG, not a classic, but the, they did their thing on these. 225 was definitely worth paying this. I have, yeah, y'all, these definitely go crazy. I don't know if I would double up on these personally, Man, I might. Ooh, man, maybe I would. Okay, they did their thing on these. Again, not enough, not enough talk, I believe, it came from these because people were so concerned and obsessed with the dang resale market, y'all. You know, I mean, to me, you could throw on a simple gray fit with this and it would look good. I mean, because even look at these laces. The laces are light gray. But would have been crazy if they would have threw another pair of laces in these, like a white or an even dark gray. That would have went crazy. But I, I'm a big fan of wearing like different types of grays and stuff like that. So I think these would look good with a lot of different outfits. And I do have I do have an outfit that's a little bit too warm to wear it right now. But once it gets a little bit colder, it would go crazy with these. And what I do like about it is the majority of the shoe is gray. So if there's any dirt, mud, or sludge that comes on there, you can simply probably wipe it off. And it would, she would still look good. So I think these shoes could withstand quite a bit. Now, if you do like your Tope Haze 4s and you already got those, you probably don't need these. Or if you do have the Cool Gray 4s also, you probably don't need these. But me, I don't have either of these shoes, so I definitely need them. So, man, this, this also, I believe, has that SB4 shape. And let me know what y'all think, because we were supposed to get a lot of Jordan 4s with that SB4 shape, with the new shape. And I think, man, I think these look really good. You know, but a lot of these shoes, people were complaining about the 4s because they couldn't fit them. You know, think you got your main man Fortunes, and then you also have the Air Jordan 4 Paris Wet Cement. What do you guys think? Do you guys think these are worth reaching back for and getting them? Wait for a lot of these shoes and just buy them after the release date. Because here's the thing, if these go under retail, then you didn't miss out. But if they go over, they're not going to go that much over retail. So to me, it's almost worth just waiting on every sneaker because the majority of them are going under retail. So you might have to pay over resale on a couple of them, like maybe these or the White Thunders or the Bread 4s. But I mean, you're not going to have to pay that much more over the retail because it ain't going for nothing anyway. So I don't know. Let me know what y'all think. But, and there you have them, and there's a review. So you got your main man Fortunes, you got the Air Jordan 4, Wet Cement, Paris, and you got the review. So man, we appreciate y'all so much for tuning in and rocking out with us. Man, big shout out to everybody out there doing their thing in this Young Stink game, man. And shout out to everybody out there that's doing content also, man. We appreciate y'all. Like Kanye say, nothing's ever promised tomorrow today. So go ahead and wear your shoes because you don't know what could happen tomorrow. So, man, remember, if we don't catch you on the flip side, man, we got to catch you in the next one.